we are turning more and more towards using control burning to prevent the spread of bushfires. Control burning is a powerful tool that reduces the amount of fuel that is available during a bushfire. By burning the fuel, however, we change the amount of carbon that is released to the atmosphere, the carbon that is stored underground, we might reduce the quality of water and change the composition of vegetation. So in today's environment, it is important that we have a good understanding of what effects we're going to leave on the environment before actually planning and operating a burn. This project is going to build that understanding and help land managers plan their controlled burns. We do this by visiting sites before and after a fire and assessing these sites for their carbon and water balance and collecting samples from them. We analyze these samples for their physical and chemical properties that are affected by the fire. For example, we look at how much carbon was released and how much carbon is still in the vegetation and in the soil. And um, sometimes when we visit the sites, the operational staff join us for the field work. They share their knowledge and experience about technicalities and challenges of control burning. They identify opportunities for improving their operational tools and we discuss potential solutions with them and sometimes we provide them with some of the scientific background of our research. Our project combines the empirical information that we collect from the field with physical knowledge, satellite data, spatial information and produces computer models that are easy to use by the operational staff. These models give land managers the opportunity to explore different burning scenarios and predict the effect, the likely effect, on carbon and water potentials. We believe that our project can provide guidelines to help land manager plan their controlled burns uh, and optimize fuel reduction by minimizing some of the undesirable impacts on the environment. <music>